Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, how to send smart form PDF as an email attachment. And as a part of that, we finished with first seven steps. Now we will move on to next step that is set the document. Before we go for this step, we will understand the process now up to this level. With the help of CL underscore BCS class, which was your first class, CL underscore BCS, we created the send process. We created the send process and we added the recipient. Just think, we clicked on to compose button and we added the email address. We clicked on to compose button and we added the email address. With the help of second class, CL underscore document underscore BCS, we simply, simply created the document. Documentation means what? Mail title mail body and after that we add the attachment also to that mail. Just think we have two individual classes. With the help of one class you started the send process, you created the send process, you added the recipient. With the help of second class you finish the document process but is there any linkage between both of them? As of now, there is no linkage between both of them. So with the help of this math, with the help of this step, set the document. We will simply, simply set this documentation process into this particular class. As of now, we, we simply, simply finish the individual process with the help of these two classes. Now we need to link linkage in what says whatever the documentation you did. Yes, it should. It should be here now. It should be here. So we will use which particular method set the document. We will use which particular step now set the document and we will see here what is the particular method in the class for the same? If you will see, this is our class, CL underscore BCS. What is the method name? Set underscore document. And it is clearly saying which document you want to set. We are setting the document. Now, once I will call this method, you will automatically understand that both, both are linking now. Both are linking. Now just see, set underscore document is a instance method. It means we require a object. Yes, we require a object. So we'll simply call the method through the object. So I will go to pattern. I will go for a map object patterns. What is the object of the BCS class? Hello underscore BCS. What is the class name? CL underscore BCS. And what is the method we are going to use? We will go for the method set underscore document. This method. And I will simply uncomment try and I will simply, simply uncomment this catch and, and try. Always best practice. Now, we are using instance method. So hyphen and greater than is coming. Now just see what we need to pass in front of I underscore document. Just see, you will get full understanding. I will simply, simply pass the object of document class. Now you can understand completely both linked. This is the object of your BCS class. 
this is the object of your document class so have you seen both linked now because the as of now both have different steps both have different process we followed but now we need to link both of them so how we will link we'll simply simply use the method set underscore document just see this is the object of cl underscore bcs and we are passing the object of which class this cl underscore document underscore bcs so it will simply simply be attached to this attached to this now we will go for our next step just think everything is done we link these two classes now we need to go for the send process because now we need to click on to send button because we did everything now we need to click on to the send button before we go for send i will go for this step activate deactivate immediate sending word itself is saying you want to send the email immediately or we want to send the mail at the last now we'll simply go for a understanding if we are going for immediate sending if we will activate the immediate sending so whatever the mail we are sending it will go on immediate basis now if we will deactivate immediate sending then what will happen email will not go at that point of time whatever the basis person scheduled that time suppose basis person is saying after one hour or after six hour or after 10 hours all mails will collectively go so at that point of time yes you sent the mail but it will not go to the inbox of other persons and yes customer want these kinds of requirement but customer sometimes told yes i want the mail every day morning only every day morning so at that time we will set in such a way yes our program will run but we will simply simply schedule basis person will schedule a time that all mails will go at this particular time only so if something urgent is there yes we will simply simply send the mail through immediate sending if urgent is not there all mails will go together depends upon the frequency of the email sending now this is by anyways we'll see as of now we will simply simply activate the immediate sending there is no point of deactivating in our current requirement but if you will deactivate the immediate sending in the projects so emails will not go at that point of time it will go depends upon the frequency but basis person set in the system so i will go for the method set send immediately so i will go for pattern Firstly, I will go further. I'll show you the method. CL underscore BCS. You can see we have a method set send immediately. It is clearly saying you can activate or deactivate immediate sending process. So I will simply use this method. It is an instance method. So whenever we want to call the instance method, we will call through object. I will go to pattern, same to same object, same to same class. Now I will go to F4 help and we will go for which method? Set send image. Now we will simply simply uncomment. And whenever you want to set immediately, it means you need to pass capital X. Capital X means true. 
So we send that, so we set the immediate process as active. So we simply pass it to capital X. You know capital X means true. If you want to buy, you will pass space. It means immediate process is inactive. It depends upon the project. Yes, in the project, this step will play a vital role. You want to send the mail immediately or you want to send the email depends upon the frequency set by the basis person. At that time, our immediate sending is deactive. deactive. In our current scenario, we will make it active. We'll check the syntax and we will act. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we cover two steps as a part of our smart form PDF sending process, email sending process. We cover the set step, set the document. The major motto of this step is to set the linkage between the two classes. We followed the steps of CL underscore VCS. We follow the steps of CL underscore document underscore BCS, but there is no linkage between both of them. If you want to go for the linkage, we use the method set underscore doc. We use the method set underscore document and we pass the object of which class document class. We are passing the object of the document class. And after that, we use the method set send immediately. Again, it is a instance method. So we use the object. Yes, if you are passing it to true, the email will go immediately. At that time, it will not follow the frequency what basis person has set. If you are passing it to space, then in that case, what will happen? The mails will go collectively depends upon the frequency which is set by the basis person. We put it to capital X. It means we are going for immediate sending process. In the next video, we will cover last two steps of our email sending process. So that's it in this video. Thank you.